Hi, I'm Virgil from ICOM. I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the basic features that are common to both the A25CE and NE model aviation radios. So here we have the ICOM ICA25CE. Um, just switch that on and give you a quick overview of the radio now. Um, so here's, here's your, your entry keypad. You can change frequencies on the top here. On the side you've got your PTT. Um, this button here is for switching the light on and off and you've got your squelch up and down. On the other side you've got a socket there for um, connecting into an intercom or a headset. Um, you've also got a DC input so you can run it off of uh, a cigar lighter lead from a, uh, a 12 to 24 volt source. So changing frequency is very easy when you're on the main dial and the display is shown like this you can scroll through the frequencies just by turning the dial knob on the top there or you can type in the frequency and uh, it, it takes you straight there and then you can carry on scrolling. To scan the radio press the function button and press the scan button here which is number, number 8 on the keypad and it will start scanning. At the moment it's scanning the dial so that's going to go through all the frequencies that it's capable of. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you go into your memory bank, so press the memory recall and you'll see that I've got two memories saved. You, you can obviously store more memories and you can scan between those memories so whilst in the memory bank do exactly the same again, function and scan and it's now scanning just those memory channels. To store a frequency into memory, select your frequency from the dial. So I'm going to go for 123900 and then function and memory write. From here you get an option to, uh, to name the channel. So if I scroll down and go into name, it defaults to the frequency, uh, but I can change that um, by deleting that back and using keypad entry here to select the letters. So if I call that one ABC call that one ICOM and then write that write yes completed. Now when I go to the memory I've got my memory channels that were previously there and now I've got the new channel which I've got tagged with ICOM underneath it. At switch on you'll see the radio displays the battery voltage. You can access the battery status by pressing menu, scrolling down to others and selecting battery status and here it shows you the status of your battery and your level of charge. When saving a frequency into a memory you can choose which group it goes into and you can then scan those groups individually. Choosing a new frequency, function and write to memory, I can scroll down and select which group I want it to be in and there, there are many groups within the radio. and I can also choose to give that group a name. You should be able to find all the information you need on our website. There's user manuals and leaflets on the radio that will give you uh, a, an overview of the products. But if there's anything you need to know that you can't find, please do contact us. You can telephone us or uh, send us a message via the contact us page of our website.